I've had this Ruger 5.7 for about a week now, and I posted the video of it, and it turns out I got a quite a big jump in subscribers and views, and so I just need to clarify on this that I'm not a gun tuber or a gun channel or anything, so just so you don't get disappointed, you're not going to see me going out there and burning through my own ammo and stuff. And the reality is a lot of these gun tubers that you're going to want to be tempted to compare me to, they're getting free guns, they're getting free ammo, and they're going to go out there and they're going to put on a show for you. But don't expect that on this channel because this is just my personal channel that I just do whatever with. So what you're looking at here is me weighing the guns because I was curious. I'm not a huge handgun guy, but I do have a few handguns, and so I'm like, let's... Let's weigh them against this uh, Ruger 5.7 because that Ruger 5.7 sure feels pretty light. Um, and I'm liking the gun a lot. And a lot of people are like, what's the point of the gun? Why would you buy it? And I just, I like guns so much that I don't feel like every gun I own needs to be justified as a hardcore tool of any kind. Sometimes you just want a gun because you want it and it's fun. And I saw this Ruger 5.7 and I thought that was pretty cool that they came out with a gun out of nowhere to go against a gun that's had no competition ever. I mean, the FN 5.7, they developed that round. They developed these, the P90 and the, uh, the FN 5.7, and they could charge whatever they want. People are going to buy it because it's unique and cool, and it's got all kinds of rumors around it. You look at that Kennedy dude, he's like, this is what I carry because it shoots 3,000 feet a second, blows through cars, and... Yeah, everyone will make these massive claims about this gun blowing through everything, and I don't think that's the case. I don't think it's a real, you know, good, you can't hunt with it. It's not a, the most ideal self-defense. I mean, this 10 millimeter right here is way more of a of a viable option for all kinds of defense than this, uh, this Ruger is. But like I said, it's a fun gun and I'm going to keep it and I'm going to enjoy it. Probably put a red dot on it. I think it's going to be a flat shooter from a long ways. And uh, all guns are lethal, obviously. I mean, you look at that dang Fort Hood shooting and you can use anything. There's people that have used Ruger 1022s against people. And you watch those murder mysteries and how many of those are like, they were killed by a 22. And you're like, I thought those weren't lethal. Guns are lethal. They're all lethal. But again, I don't think the, pur the purpose of this gun is I think it's just a fun gun and I think it's awesome that Ruger came in and did that and it's a great idea because uh they could oh wait just a second look at this adorable that's the first thing I thought when I opened these up it's just absolutely adorable these little miniature rifle rounds I mean look at that that's next to a 223 and a 308 that's a nine millimeter right there but I'm just dubbing over the top of this stuff. I was just weighing these. and This is kind of a useless video, but I'm just putting it up there to say some stuff. And I'm bored, and I've been working a lot lately. And that's another thing about my channel. I don't have the time that you're going to see on these other people that do this as a big part of their lives. I work 15-hour days and have a bunch of kids and do a bunch of other things. I do enjoy guns, and I will get some shooting footage of this gun probably tomorrow, and I will still compare it to that FN as well. And speaking of FN, back to what I was saying about them, or why Ruger, it was a good move what they did, because if they just came out with a regular 9mm or something, and they're charging, what, the MSRP is close to 800, and I got this thing for 600, and, uh, oh wait, here I go, I'm going to load this little tiny baby AR-15 magazine. It's like having a little AR-15 in your pocket. Everything's miniaturized. And the the magazines, the, the caliber, I mean, I've got AR that's got a 7-inch barrel. This thing's got a 5-inch barrel. And I'd be curious to see the uh, ballistics comparing the two, which I'll probably do, whether I record it or not, I don't know. But I do like to have fun. I just got a little makeshift range in my backyard, and I shoot quite a bit. But anyway, so if Ruger had made like a 9 millimeter or a just a typical caliber, They'd have to be really competitive with price and stuff, but they're like, what gun out there has got no comp competitors and it's overpriced? Ooh, the FN 5.7. So if we make a 5.7 gun and it's going to be half the price of the FN, we're going to make some money and it's still going to just be extremely popular, which I think this gun is going to be popular. And I got lucky getting this one. Apparently they're kind of hard to find right now and... And that's kind of why I'm just throwing random videos out there because people are curious about the gun and they want to see more stuff. And I would assume, especially from just a regular guy that owns it, but I'm going to 
Oh, I loaded 20 rounds and I just wanted to see if it would hold 21, which it did, but it's not designed to it. It just popped right out. But let's look at the, it's a loaded weight right there. How accurate this scale is, I don't know. It's just a little Pinewood Derby scale and it's sitting on a blanket there too, but it mostly a comparison to the other guns. Anyway, let's throw this 10 millimeter on. It's going to max out my scale, but I don't know what that scale was. Those are 180 grain. All right, stay tuned. Probably tomorrow I'll put that, uh, some shooting videos of it. And before I forget, I better weigh the gun loaded too, because people are curious about that. So I'll weigh it against this Glock 19, which holds 15 rounds of 9mm. So we're going to put a 20 round mag in here and weigh the difference. I probably should have used the Kennet because it holds 20 rounds of 9mm also, but it's got that Venom on it. I didn't feel like taking it off at the time. but So there's your weight on your empties. And this is not... This is just the magazines. There's no round in the chamber on these. So there's your weight similarities between a very common 9mm and the new Ruger 5.7. And I think tomorrow I'm just going to shoot this slab of clay with it. It's a nice dense thing that will keep the bullet track in there so I don't have gel but that should be fun to shoot tomorrow.